Today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at 10 unique baseball pre-war cards that I found on YouTube. Now, all the content creators are linked down below. Make sure to subscribe to their channels if you wanna learn a lot more about vintage cards or baseball in general. Tons of content on all of these channels. Now, I'm thinking about also expanding this series and letting subscribers send in cards. So if you guys wanna see some of your pre-war baseball cards featured on this channel, I wanna make a follow-up video where I cover 10. Make sure to send me your baseball card as well as a small description either over Twitter, Instagram, or my email, which is linked down below. Hope you guys do enjoy this video and I will be expanding it to other eras and sports. Full orange borders. PSA has graded one of these only one. SGC is graded 10. Four of them is graded authentic. Uh, three of them a one. Two twos and one a six. They should all say hand cut on it. This is a poor. Why it's poor, I don't know. Uh, the back, of course, we're inside of a candy box. But uh, there's, you know, This is just like an intact, no pinholes, no wrinkles, no nothing. I don't know why they say it's a poor, but it doesn't really matter, especially, you know, with these hand cut cards, you can't really go by the grade. You gotta go, what does it look like? Showing you three Gaudi Lajue cards. Two of them are graded by PSA and one SGC. This card has really nice corners, excellent color. I have a 1909 Ramley Chief Bender. Great early pitcher. This set is tough. Great pitcher. He was known to drink a little bit, and at one point in his contract, they actually put a clause that he couldn't drink. This is a 1903. Bryce Williams Company, Cy Young, the E107 set. And as you can see, it's a SGC one. And there's the back. Uh, it says one of 150 prominent baseball players. And um, obviously uh, there's some paper loss there and some pretty significant damage on the side. Um, on the edge there on the right. Um, but Lastly, I'm gonna showcase one that won three triple crowns. But in 1915, he actually led the whole major league in the three respective categories, and that's Mr. Grover Cleveland Alexander. And this is his E-121 American Caramel card. As you could tell, it's a very nice subject here. And I actually picked this up at the National this year in Chicago. And I was very fortunate to finally I come across this card because it eluded me for quite a while. A 1922 W575-2. And it is Rube Marquard. And so first of all, a couple of things attracted me to this card. Number one was the condition very nicely centered the borders are so nice and white and I just love that image of uh, Rube Marquard following through love the old uniform there very nice image uh, very clear and so I was as I was considering this card <clears throat> I found out that it is pretty rare PSA has only graded nine of these and out of the nine that they have graded two of them have qualifiers, so they were either mocked or stained or um, off center or something like that. And out of those nine, uh, none have been graded higher than a five. So, so this is a five and there's none graded higher. So to me, I thought it was pretty rare. Excited to add this one. This is an awesome, awesome looking card. It's a 1941 Gaudi of Mela in the green background and a PSA VG3. Mela was uh, known for having that high leg kick. He's one of the, he's probably the first to start that. Now today everyone does it. 
This card in 41 Gaudi comes in uh, three different colors. It's red, blue, and green, and there might be a fourth one. Uh, there might be a yellow, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it's got a blank back on there. So Melot is a, a great player, Hall of Famer, was one of the first players to reach the 500 home run club. After Babe Ruth, it was, uh, I think, Jimmy Fox, and Melot might have been the third player. Now, this is a 1928 Tharps ice cream, Glenn Wright, and this is the only one PSA had graded. So this one has a little bit of a different front. The Tharps has a little bit of different of a front. Just a tad. The backs are kind of the same, except, of course, it says Tharps. And he told me that it was an 1888 Little Roadie Cut Plug uh, N557 American National Sports card. Um, because it just really caught my eye. I mean, this card is just absolutely amazing. It, it's just, it's a thing of beauty. And it is an SGC. In 1899, Sporting News M101-1 on a Swagner rookie. Obviously it's not a card, but it is his rookie. Um, I didn't know a 19th century on a Swagner piece existed. And when I saw this, I thought, why is this thing not in a museum? Um, it is the best condition one that I've ever seen in my life. And I've only seen like six or so in sales history. Most of them are cut out like around here or a big chunk is out of them or they're written on or something. So this is like, this is an amazing artifact. And by the way, I mean, <laughs> you know, the T206 Wagner is, uh, you know, the most popular, most famous card ever because Wagner was the best player on the planet back then, by the way. Um, and this piece predates the T206 by 10 years and like he wasn't you know it says John Wagner down here at the bottom so and he played for Louisville <laughs> and uh so I mean this is this is a piece I think in my opinion should be in a museum so I don't feel really necessarily worthy to have it <laughs> I didn't even know it existed until uh last year and just it my jaw dropped when I learned about this and so happy I have this piece mm -hmm.